Um, it looks like I'm live here. So um, Nils, your presentation was beautiful. Thank you so much. Um, so the day you embrace peace, love and happiness will walk eternally with you. So I decided today what I wanted to do with my presentation of the Portal of Peace was to read you some passages from a book, and the book is titled 40 Inspirational Life Lessons and Timeless Wisdom from the Life of Mother Teresa. We are not going to get through all 40, obviously, but I am going to read those to you. And my name is Mary Berger, and I am currently in Vancouver, Washington. So I will start out. Okay, so the first passage I'd like to read to you is called World Peace Starts Small. In these trying times of conflict, appearing to simmer under the surface of many nations, the prospect of world peace can be a little overwhelming. However, Mother Teresa believed that massive change and world peace could be accomplished with small actions. She encouraged us to go out into the world today and show love to the people you meet. She believed that it is possible to let your presence light new light within the hearts of other people. Mother Teresa believed that peace begins with a smile and that showing love to our fellow man could make a massive difference. When asked about the subject of world peace, she said to promote world peace, go home and love your family. She said that even this small action could have a massive impact on your relationships and the promotion of peace. While the prospect of trying to achieve world peace is obviously overwhelming, if we all took small actions such as smiling and showing love, the effects would be cumulative, cumulative and could truly change the world. My next passage will be called, Smiling Helps Love to Grow. Mother Teresa believed that love was central to life. She firmly believed that love could be nurtured in all of us. Mother Teresa insisted that we can help all love to grow with even small actions. She said, every time you smile at someone, it was a gift and an action of love, which made a beautiful thing. She encouraged us all to smile. Let's always meet each other with a smile, as she believed that a smile is the beginnings of love. Mother Teresa believed that love was of central importance to all life and happiness. She believed that love only needs a little encouragement to feel great, positive changes throughout the world. This is something all of us can do with simple actions such as smiling. You can see this in everyday life. Smiling is contagious. If you are walking down the street and you smile at a stranger, that smile is almost like a Mexican wave as it travels from person to person. Mother Teresa wanted us to smile at everyone, even when it feels difficult to smile. From your family and children, work colleagues, through to anyone you meet, smiling is important. She said, it doesn't matter who that person is, as smiling will help to grow greater love for one another. My next passage is called, Actions Speak Louder Than Words. We have all been guilty of big talk sometimes. How many times have we said how terrible some injustice or catastrophe was? While we may talk about these terrible things, how many of us take action? Mother Teresa inspired others because she saw the poverty and tragedy in Calcutta and didn't just speak about it. It was in taking action that she was able to make a massive difference in the lives of the children living in poverty. Mother Teresa believed that it was possible to spread the love of God throughout your life and only use words when necessary. 
she firmly believed that the way to demonstrate your love and faith in God was to show kindness and compassion to other people. This can be applied throughout our lives, even in these modern times. While talking about important issues can raise awareness, it is only by taking action that we can truly affect change. Imagine the difference you could make to a homeless person by giving them a meal rather than simply discussing how sad it is with your family or friends. Although words can help for fundraising, it is only by taking action that we can make a real difference. The next passage is called Love Knows No Boundaries. Many of us view love as an insular concept. While we may love our spouse, children, and close friends, it is not often seen as something that, be, that can be given to strangers. However, Mother Teresa believed that there were no boundaries to love. She believed that the capacity for love simply grows as we call upon it. A great example of this is when you have children. When you have one child, your love feels full to capacity. Yet when you have another child, the love for the first child does not diminish. You simply have more love to give. Mother Teresa believed that it was possible to give more and more love to make massive change. She said that she had discovered a paradox about love. If you love until it hurts, then you will find that there is no more hurt, only more love. This means that while you may feel that your love is complete with your family and close friends, if you begin to show love to more and more people, your capacity will grow. Mother Teresa believed that when you love until you simply cannot love anymore, you will find no pain, only more and more love. Let's see. The next passage is called, Even Small Deeds Have Meaning. It is important to realize that even small deeds have significance and meaning. Mother Teresa believed that it is not how much we give that is important, but how much love we put into giving. She acknowledged that not all of us can do great things, which may be discouraging, but that we can all do small things with great love. Mother Teresa believed that small deeds are the stepping stone to greatness. She said we should be, we should be faithful in small things, as in them is our strength. Mother Teresa accomplished great things in her lifetime, and this good work continues to this day. However, even Mother Teresa was daunted by the massive prospect of starvation and poverty. She said that if I look at the mass, I will never act, which is why she focused her efforts on the small deeds. She concentrated on one small task at a time to have meaning and to contribute to great change. Mother Teresa also recognized that sometimes even small deeds seem insignificant and can appear to make no difference. She said that there are times when our small deeds are nothing more than a drop in the ocean. While this may be discouraging to some, she said, if the drop was not there, the ocean would be missing something. This means that even if our small deed appears unimportant, it still has significance and meaning. The next passage is titled, Giving Should Hold the Most Importance in Life. With the materialistic attitude we have in modern society, many people are focused entirely on what they have. 
This means that they concentrate all of their efforts throughout their lives on making money, achieving qualifications, and buying things. While there is nothing wrong with aiming to achieve great things, Mother Teresa believed that these things should not hold the most importance in our lives. She believed that giving is the most, the most important aspect of life. According to Mother Teresa, at the end of our lives, we will be judged for entry into heaven. She said that at this time, we will not be judged by how much money we have and if we have done great things. Instead, we will be judged by the Bible quote from Matthew 25, 35 to 40. The quote says, I was hungry and you gave me something to eat. I was naked and you clothed me. I was homeless and you took me in. This giving attitude is considered to be the most important aspect of a full life. If you love others and give freely, you will not only experience love and joy, but you will know the real important. You will know the real importance of life and our interactions with other people. The next passage is called, Be the Expression of Kindness. Mother Teresa believed that it was important to be the expression of kindness in our words, actions, and thoughts. She said we should be the living expression of God's kindness. She advised that we show kindness in your face, kindness in your eyes, and kindness in your smile. Expressing this level of kindness can be challenging, but she said, let no one ever come to you without leaving better and happier. These expressions of kindness can be easy to speak and short, but their echoes are truly endless. Most people can recollect an occasion when someone has been kind to them for no particular reason. From small acts of kindness, such as letting you be served before them when you were in a hurry, to helping you with a flat tire or giving you a kind smile. These occasions are nice to recollect and are likely to have made an impression on you for the rest of the day, week, month, or your life. Now, imagine having that effect on the people around you. By being the expression of kindness, you can make the world a nicer, happier place. The next passage is titled, Try to Inspire Others. Mother Teresa didn't just take action to make positive changes for the poor, sick, and lonely in Calcutta, but she inspired others to also help others around them. She said, I alone cannot change the world. However, she was aware that she could cast a stone across the waters to create many ripples. The possibility of inspiring others is a little daunting but Mother Teresa said that we should not worry about falling short of our aims or failing. She said that God doesn't require us to succeed. Rather, he only requires that you try. This means that if you try every day to inspire other people to help others, aspire towards great deeds, or act in a kind and loving manner, it doesn't matter if you always don't succeed. Your intentions are far more important. Mother Teresa even said, I prefer you to make mistakes in kindness than work miracles in unkindness. Make the effort to try to inspire others every day, and you may find that even if you fail almost every day, the one day you succeed, you could inspire greatness. If you keep your thoughts kind, and aim to inspire, you are likely to feel happiness and more fulfilled than if you never bothered to try.
my next passage is called Embrace Happiness. Many of us are striving to achieve happiness and fulfillment. However, many of us fail to embrace happiness. Instead, spend our time looking for the next reward. Mother Teresa believed that the key to a happy life was to be happy in the moment, and that's enough. She insisted that each moment is all we need, not more. This attitude means that, it, that you can embrace the small moments of happiness in our lives rather than constantly seeking out a perfect situation. For example, many people feel that if they win the lottery, they will be happy. However, while these people spend their days imagining how they would spend their lottery winnings and what their days would be like, they are missing these moments of happiness, which are going on all around them. Although we all have bills to pay, spending time enjoying the company of your spouse or playing with your child are truly priceless. Mother Teresa believed that embracing these moments of happiness will allow you to see the joy in the world. She said, the person who gives a smile is the best giver, since God loves a cheerful giver. If you learn to see the glass as half full rather than half empty, you will see the positive around you and are likely to have a positive effect on the people around you. My next passage is called, We All Need Love. Mother Teresa lived in an area filled with poverty, hunger, and despair. However, she recognized that although we need food and water to survive, these are not the only essentials in life. She believed that the hunger for love is more difficult to remove than the hunger for bread. While many of us are aware, are aware of famines around the world, Mother Teresa believed that simply supplying food would not solve the problem. This is because we all need love, and for this reason, she said, It is not how much we give, but how much love we put into giving. Most people have sufficient, if not access, to too much food and clean drinking water. But this does not mean that we are happy. This is because food and drink do not give us love. We can only get love from other people, our family, friends, acquaintances, and even strangers. Fortunately, Mother Teresa believed that is that it is easy to supply plenty of love for everyone. She said that every time you smile, it is an action of love, a gift to that person and a beautiful thing. Once you embrace the concept that every single person on this planet needs love, you can learn to more rapidly empathize with other people. Next time you are thinking about the latest Hollywood celebrity scandal, you can understand that despite massive box office hits, these actors and actresses are just like us and need love. The next passage, poverty is not just a lack of money. Mother Teresa worked as a nun and missionary in some of the most poverty-stricken areas of the world. In Calcutta, she saw great poverty and despair, but she recognized that poverty is not simply a lack of money. This sentiment means that even those with money can be poor, and those with only a small amount of money can actually be quite rich. She said, the most terrible poverty is loneliness and the feeling of being unloved. However, Mother Teresa recognized that this can be more difficult to overcome. 
She said, the hunger for love is more difficult to remove than the hunger for bread. She believed that this challenge could be overcome, but it is actually underestimated around the world, especially in the first world. She said, the greatest disease in the West today is not TB or leprosy. It is being unwanted, unloved, and uncared for. She believed that although we can cure physical diseases with medicine, but the only cure for loneliness, despair, and hopelessness is love. Mother Teresa believed that this form of poverty is prevalent all around the world. She said that there are many in the world who are dying for a piece of bread, but there are many more dying for a little love. She believed that poverty occurs all over the world, even in the richest first world countries. She said the poverty in the West is a different kind of poverty. It is not only a poverty of loneliness, but also of spirituality. She believed that there is a hunger for love as there is a hunger for God. The next passage is titled, Be Kind to Others. Although with a busy schedule and demanding job, it can be challenging to concentrate on being kind to others. There is a tendency to rush through our daily lives without giving consideration to how kindly we treat other people. However, if we fail to be kind to others, we are living only a hollow life. Being kind to others is one of the only ways to truly empathize and understand the people around us. Mother Teresa believed that one of the most important aspects of life was to be kind to others. She spent her life dedicated to be, being kind to others. She said, kind words can be short and easy to speak, but their echoes are truly endless. Mother Teresa believed that kindness to others was an essential part of living a truly contented life. She said that we should be the living expression of God's kindness. She said we should aim to show kindness in your face, kindness in your eyes, and kindness in your smile. Mother Teresa believed that when our lives end, we will be judged not by how much money we have made, but by how we have treated other people. The next passage is called, Put Others First. As a nun and missionary, Mother Teresa led a totally selfless life. She spent all of her time putting the care and welfare of others before her own needs. Mother Teresa believed that putting others first was an important aspect of living a happy and spiritual life. She said that a life not lived for others is not a life. Mother Teresa did appreciate that in the modern world, people are very busy running around, working, completing chores, and coping with the demands of daily life. However, she said it was still important to put others first, especially your loved ones. She said that love begins by taking care of the closest ones, the ones at home. While money, of course, is essential for paying the bills and keeping your family fed with a roof over their heads, care and consideration for your family means more than this. Mother Teresa said we should never be so busy as to not think of others. This should encourage us to take a moment and evaluate even when we are running around working and doing chores. Once you are confident that your family is first, you may even consider spreading this care and consideration further to people in your community or around the world. I have three more passages. 
The next one is called Listen for Your Own Calling. Listen for Your Own Calling. While Mother Teresa knew her calling at a very early age, she did not appreciate that many of us have far less firm beliefs. However, she did insist that each and every one of us has our own calling. We simply need to listen for it. She said that there is a light in this world, a healing spirit more powerful than any darkness we may encounter. She said that while we sometimes lose sight of this force, when there is suffering and too much pain, suddenly the spirit will emerge through the lives of ordinary people who hear a call and answer in extraordinary ways. Mother Teresa also spoke of people doing special things, big and small. So, while you may worry that you don't have a massive calling like Mother Teresa had, it is important to realize that your calling may involve smaller tasks, which you can still have, which, which can still have a massive impact. Your own calling may involve helping out the elderly in your neighborhood, supporting family and friends, or even brightening up the day of people you meet. Don't undervalue your calling as it could make a huge difference in the lives of all the people around you. Love is exponential. Mother Teresa believed that love grows exponentially. She believed that the more love you give, the more love you will have to give. In fact, she said that intense love does not measure, it just gives. This means that we shouldn't be concerned with worrying about how much love we have to give. We should simply give and it will always grow to meet the demand. Mother Teresa said, love is a fruit in season at all times and within reach of every hand. While many people wonder about how it is possible to generate enough love to change the whole world, Mother Teresa believed that this is unimportant. She simply believed that if we merely love, the rest will take care of itself. She said that Jesus said love one another. He didn't say love the whole world as the reality is that if we loved one another, we can change the whole world. In this modern world of technological developments and scientific discoveries, it is easy to overlook the simple power of love. However, Mother Teresa said that the greatest science in the world, that the greatest science in the world in heaven and on earth is love. This creates a wonderful image that love can truly change the world. And as we are all striving for fulfillment and joy, it is the best opportunity to achieve this. In fact, Mother Teresa said, joy is a net of love in which you can catch souls. Joy is a net of love in which you can catch souls. Once we embrace the prospect that love will grow exponentially, it is easy to see how we can attain fulfillment and joy. And one last piece. It's called Look for the Light. With the challenges of the modern world, it can be very easy to feel consumed by darkness and only see the doom and the gloom in the world. However, Mother Teresa believed that the world is filled with light and joy. She believed that if we celebrate love, giving, and joy, we will not only see the light in the world, but can actually help to increase it. 
Our actions can have a direct consequence on the world. And it is only by loving and giving will we be able to look for the light. Mother Teresa believed that all of our actions had consequence. She said that words which do not give the light of Christ increase the darkness. She believed that it was important to go out into the world today and love the people you meet. Let your presence light new light in the hearts of people and that our profound joy of the heart is like a magnet that indicates the path of light. While it can be very easy to get sucked into a view of the world that is all darkness and bad deeds, there are inspiring stories to be found all around the world. You need only pick up your local newspaper and there is likely to be a story of someone helping another or someone doing something special for a good cause. Once you start to look for the light, you will be amazed at the light and the goodness around you. The day you embrace peace, love and happiness will walk eternally with you. Thank you.